Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to add crop marks and a bleed to a document in Photoshop. Photoshop is meant to be used for preparing images for print. Um, so there is no way you can actually add a crop or bleed mark when creating PDF files to send out to a printer. So you're going to have to manually add the marks yourself. It's quite easy and I'm going to show you how to do this today. So the first thing you need to do is start with a new document. I'm making monogram tags for invitations and the size for that is 2 inches by 2 inches. Once you get all the details in here as you would like them, then just click create. So this is my artboard and the first thing I want to do is add the ruler lines. So if you can't see a ruler which is across here, you go to view and then just tick rulers. And then I'm just going to simply come to the side, click on the ruler and drag across the line. I'm going to make sure that I get it to the end of the artboard. I'm going to come to the top and do the same thing here. The next thing I want to work on is the bleed and crop marks. To get the bleed I need to make the canvas size larger and then I can add the crop marks. So to do that I'm going to come up to image, canvas size, and as you can see my measurements have turned into millimetres and that's because I'm in Australia and we use millimetres but if you're in the US you would just need to go to inches and then put in your bleed which is an eighth of an inch which is 0.125 and also in here and anyone else that's in Australia or the UK you would just keep it at millimeters and your bleed will be three millimeters but for the purpose of this video I'm going to keep it in inches and use the eighth of an inch make sure the relative box is checked and then click OK so from here you're able to see the artboard has extended past the blue lines and now I'm ready for the crop marks. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and design the card. So I've just finished designing the card and now I'm going to add my crop marks. Come up to the layers panel and I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm gonna call this crop. Then I'm gonna come up to the marquee tool here in the left hand side panel and right click and select single row marquee tool. I'm going to make sure my feathering is zero and then I just come to the first line and click once. Then I go up to edit, stroke, make sure it's one pixel and click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom line here, just click on the line, go up to edit, stroke and one pixel. And then I'm going to come back up to the marquee tool and select the column marquee tool. I come up to this line and click on here and then I go back up to edit and stroke click OK and then the last line here on the right edit stroke and OK so now I can't see my lines because I've got the blue guides in the way and to get rid of them I'm going to click command and semicolon or control and semicolon on a PC and that will remove the blue lines. I'm just going to right click on the artboard and click deselect and you can see now I've got these lines. So now what I need to do is delete a portion of it. So I come back up to the marquee tool and just choose a regular marquee. Just zoom in. Now make sure you're still on the crop layer. And starting at the top left hand corner, I'm just going to go in a little bit and draw a marquee box to the other side. Let go and then on my keyboard I'm just going to click delete or backspace and then deselect. And there we have it. So from here you just need to save the file. Go file, save as, and choose PDF. I'm going to rename it monogram tag, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and save. So that's how you easily create a bleed and crop marks in Photoshop. I've also done a tutorial in Illustrator and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.